We're joined in uh, this portion of our program on the WXRK Weekend Magazine here at 92.3 Now. This is Bob Salter. We're joined by Ruth Milstein. Uh, Ruth is joining us on our program as the author of a book entitled Cooking with Love. Now, there seem to be, from what I understand, a lot of things that are covered uh, in this book. We can talk with Ruth about um, her approach in putting uh, this book together and also perhaps her passion for um, working with food in terms of uh, cooking. Ruth, first of all, it's nice to have you join us on our program. Thank you. Delighted to be with you. This book, Cooking with Love, what does this mean for you? I mean, this is your first book. What does it mean for you having this book published? Uh, Exactly like the title, To Cook with Love. And I love to cook. And uh, cooking is really... A love, it's like art. For you, I, I, yes. when did your, do you recall your first exposure to to cooking? Was this as a child? Uh, since I was a child, uh, I used to stay with my mother in the kitchen. I was raised in a big house with a huge backyard. All the backyard was with, um, we got trees with all the food and vegetables. The front yard was with um, flowers. We had the uh, apricot and plum and apple and grapes and avocado, all those trees. And this, all the ingredients that my mom used to cook. And I love to be around her and to cook with her. And she encouraged me very, very much to do so. And I start, uh, when I was teenagers, I start to accumulate uh, recipes on index, bar, uh, index, uh, uh, no, on note, and uh, after I transfer them to the computer, and friend and family always ask me, where's your book, where's your book? So here's my book. Once you start, you're going to love to cook. Okay, you've just raised a number of questions in my mind that I yes. assume would be questions of people who are listening to our discussion today. One of them surrounds this idea of um, people will say in some cases that they like to cook, but their big reason that they don't cook more is because they quote unquote don't have the time. Mm-hmm. What do you say to that? Um, make a head. Make a head. Uh, I, my personally, I work also. I make a head. Uh, I make a head in the weekend and just before the weekend I make a few recipes I cook them halfway, I freeze it night before I put it in the fridge in the bottom a shelf when I come from work I put it on the stove half hour it's cooked, it's gourmet food if it's meat or chicken or salad or vegetable dishes I make it make a head mm-hmm The book is entitled Cooking with Love. We're talking with the author, Ruth Milstein, on our program here at 92.3 Now. Um, Cooking with Love, the uh, book, is also offered as a a CD. And by the way, Ruth is going to be uh, appearing at the Barnes & Noble in Park Slope in Brooklyn. That's on uh, 7th Avenue. It's this Thursday, the 21st of May at uh, 7 p.m. You talked earlier about the idea of um, a section in the book dealing with concerns that people have about reducing uh, fat. Yes. Um, first of all, there's a lot of concern, obviously, about that. How involved is the process in cooking in a way that reduces fat content? Fat and cholesterol. This is the issue now in America, yes. I use a lot of egg white instead of full egg. I substitute egg white. If I bake a cake and it's called for four eggs, I put, I use two eggs and for every one egg I use two egg white. This is for baking. This is for baking. I substitute olive oil for cooking, olive oil instead of butter or margarine. Uh, I Chicken, I always cook without the skin. The skin contains a lot of fat. The meat, always lean, and it's very tasty. And if you cook, um, if you cook the meat with wine or herbs, uh, like thyme or rosemary, 
you don't feel the difference. I use a lot of herbs. I use a, in my book there is substitute for mayonnaise. This for salad. There is two substitutes. One made from yogurt and one made, made from tofu. Why I made it two? Because if somebody keep kosher and you want to make chicken salad, you can use the mayonnaise that made from yogurt. So there is another substitute that's made from tofu. Matter of fact, my publisher, when she got my book for review, she made the mayonnaise substitute from yogurt, which is the last recipe in my book. And she sent me the contract with the word yummy yummy. <laughs> yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> There's a ringing endorsement. Huh? <laughs> and... Uh, I have also salt substitute. Salt is very dangerous. It's tasty, but it's very dangerous. I have salt substitute made from sesame. I use it all the time. Nobody knows the difference. It's easy to make. It's one, two, three to make it. To grind it. That's all. It tastes like salt. You never know the difference. I have substitute for um, uh, chicken liver made from vegetable. When you eat it, you don't know the, t- the difference. I have one made from mushroom, one made from uh, zucchini, and one made from eggplant. And this is everything that you can make ahead, even two, three days, because you're going to taste much better. It's local, and it's easy. Once you start eat all the local, the fat, less fat, you're going to used to the taste, and you're going to you're not going to meet to miss the fat. It is confusing people. They think they're eating salad, which is very healthy, but the salad dressing make all the meal not healthy. <laughs> what about the approach that you take to, um, you mentioned desserts before, but what about breads? Because a lot of people um, like different types of bread, and for many people, bread is a very important part of to me too. their meal. But yet for some, you know, yeah. they're concerned also about exactly how much bread they're eating? Our bread is starch and our body needs starch. Our bread I buy and I recommend only dark bread. Not a very, very dark, like almost black because it contains molasses. Molasses is sugar. Sugar turns to fat. Always darker bread is better than white bread. And another thing I want to mention is the rice. Brown rice. White rice is like a white bread. If you if you chose to cook rice, try to with the brown rice. And the same like pasta. I when I cook pasta now, it's only available last year, I think. There is pasta that's made from brown rice. It's not available in every supermarket. I buy it in Trader and Joe. They have it. It tastes like pasta. It tastes like brown pasta, and it's made from brown rice. The book is entitled Cooking with Love. Ruth Milstein, our guest on uh, this portion of our program. Uh, Ruth is uh, going to be appearing this Thursday, the 21st of May, 7 p.m. at the Barnes & Noble in Park Slope in Brooklyn. That's located on uh, 7th Avenue. Ruth, I want to thank you for joining us and um, sharing some of the information that is contained in Cooking with Love. I'm looking forward to getting a copy of this as well. And I should mention the book is also offered as a CD. Thank you very much for joining us and hopefully inspiring some of the people listening to us to perhaps get in on some of that love you're experiencing there from the kitchen. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show.